next. Which situation does not describe a causal relationship? So again, we're looking for a relationship where one thing does not cause another. So let's look at these. The higher the volume on a radio, the louder the sound will be. Well, that is causal. So that's out. The faster a student types a paper, the more pages the paper will have. Not necessarily, right? You might be typing just a paragraph. We'll come back to that one. The shorter the distance driven, the less gasoline that will be used. Again, that's, that's generally true, except we have to take into account the gradient. Are we climbing up a hill? What are we doing? Okay, let's keep going. The slower the pace of a runner, the longer it will take the runner to finish the race. Okay, well, that that is true, generally, unless it, it, there are some serious obstacles, and the only way to get through them safely is by going slowly. But we have to kind of oversimplify these questions. Um, okay, I guess these are all, I would say, not really causal. But I would say out of these two, um, that that three is more causal than two, because right, if you're driving a less distance, you're probably going to be using less gas. It kind of is causal. And two is not causal because you don't know how many papers you're writing, uh, how many pages you're writing in your paper. You can write extremely fast, but if you're writing a short paper, it will be shorter. Um, the speed does not affect the length of the paper, only the speed at which it will be written. Moving on to the box and whisper plot. So the next one, this is, you know, box and whisker plots are super common here.